previously on Game Gengo. Hello everyone and welcome to Game Gango, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this episode, episode 9, we have finally arrived at the Maker Reactor core and we're going to be planting the bomb. Now, this episode is a huge one. Uh, we're going to be covering 75 new words. <laughs> uh, so because this is kind of a boss episode, not normal, uh, from after this episode we'll go back to more manageable numbers like 30, but this particular episode, uh, it really just fit in this huge episode. So good luck everyone, have fun, let's get into the video. お前が決めろ。自信あるんだろうな。もう、はれやがった。来るぞ。なんだよ。おい、こいつ豆知識は。戦中の強化装甲だ。メカは行かず地に弱い。魔法で攻めろ。やるしかねえが。なんだあれや。マリアか。この防御システムは初めてだ。修復機能か急げ回復される前に肩をつけるおっしゃ燃えてきたくそ
を近づけて爆破まであと20分<笑>これはいい厚労省はあのサソリにくれてやる急げ脱出ださーてシンナが送り込んできた犬じゃないってことを証明してもらおうか。Okay, so starting the episode, we have Barrett trying to kind of give Cloud a test, a loyalty test. And so he says, さーてシンナが送り込んできた犬じゃないってことを証明してもらおうか。And so if we break it down, さーて means well or now or here. So kind of like, okay, so it's a way of starting a sentence. さーてシンナが送り込んだ。So, 送り込む means to send in. 送り込んできた is just like the grammar that we learned last episode. てくる means to come to or to become. So, come to be sent by Shinra. Shinra が送り込んできた犬じゃないってこと。So, 犬 means dog. じゃない means not. So, not a dog. 犬じゃないってこと。So, て Is actually similar to a previous thing that we've covered, to. It's the short version of to using to quote something or here to kind of show what you're talking about. Te koto means inu janai is what you're talking about. So inu janai te koto means you're talking about not being a dog. O shoume shite morauka. So you're going to prove. Shoumeisuru, and then he's going to receive that proof from Cloud. So, shoumei shite morao. So, this te morao is used to kind of show that you're going to receive something. So, katte morao, you're going to have someone buy something for you. Tabete morao, you're going to have someone eat something for you.、Uh, you can use it in a lot of ways. Shite morao means you're going to have someone do something for you. What are you going to, what is he going to have Cloud do for him? He's going to have him prove his loyalty. So, in the English translation, he says, All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds him. So, talking about, you know, turning against Shinra and blowing up this maker reactor. In the Japanese version, he says, Okay, so now I'll have you prove to me that you're not just a dog sent by Shinra. さて、Shinra が送り込んできた犬じゃないってことを証明してもらおうか。爆弾はお前がセットするんだ。And how is he going to show me, Suru? He is going to plant the bomb. Bakudan wa o mae ga setto suru n a So, Bakudan is the bomb we previously covered. O mae ga setto suru n a Means, O mae, you, the rude way of saying that, ga setto suru. You will set the bomb. Bakudan wa. So, here he's saying, You're going to be the one that's going to set the bomb. Now, in English translation, they say, Go on, do the honors. Yeah. Kind of a more flavorful character way of saying the same thing as you're going to be the one setting the bomb. Tifa no tsurette dake ja shin yo deki ne. Tifa no tsurette dake ja shin yo deki ne. So here, Barrett is saying that he can't just trust Cloud just because he's an acquaintance of Tifa. So, Tifa no tsure. Now, this tsure is used to show a companion, it could be an acquaintance, someone who is kind of grouped together with another person. So, Tifa no tsure means you are the companion of Tifa. Dake ja. So, dake means only or just, and then this ja means dewa. So, we've previously seen this dewa, this ja. It means if it's just going to be or if it's just this. Then, shinyo dekinai. Shinyo means trust. Dekinai means you can't do it. So, shinyo dekine, shinyo dekinai, I can't trust you just because you are an acquaintance of Tifa. So, Tifa no tsurete dake ja, shinyo dekine. I can't trust you just because you're an acquaintance of Tifa. And so, in the English translation, he says, Prove to me you're a man, just like Tifa says you are. And so, they're touching on the similar、uh, bases here. They're saying that you need to prove yourself. They're saying that you are connected to this character called Tifa that we haven't met yet.、Uh, so, it's still connecting on that same language and that same kind of story elements, but just using different language. If you want to become one of us, Nakama ni narite nara. 
So we've covered all of this language uh, in previous episodes, but just quickly, nakama means the same group. Ni naritai, narite, naritai, so the slang version of saying naritai, to want to become. So nakama ni naritai means you want to be in the same group. Nakama ni naritai nara means if you want to join our group. So if you want to be one of our group, nakama ni naritai nara. And Cloud interrupts and says, don't make me say it over and over again. I'm only being hired by you. So he says, nando mo iwaseru na. Ore wa yatowareta dakeda. So nando mo means many, many times over and over again. Nando mo iwaseru na. So iwaseru means to make someone say. We've been seeing so much of this make someone do something language. Iwaseru, make someone say na. Don't do it. So, nandomo yoaseru na. Don't make me say it over and over again. Ore wa, for me, I yatowareta dakeda. So, yato here means to employ someone, and then this is the passive form to be something. So, yatowareta means to be employed. Dakeda. Dake, as we just saw, means only or just. So, he's saying, Ore wa yatowareta dakeda. I am only being hired by you. Nandomo iwaseru na. Don't make me say it over and over again. And so again, in the English translation, they're doing a similar trick where they're covering the same bases, but they're using different language. And they say, never said I was. So referring to being as the same group, I'm just here for the paycheck. So really touching on the same points. <laughs> so he's saying, if that's the case, shut up. Yare, do it. So, datara, damate yare o. If that's the case, then shut up and just do your job. So, the English translation, then just do the damn job. <laughs> so, again, same thing. Barrett's pissed. The same thing in English and the Japanese. Ooh, okay, so we're seeing some sort of hints towards the true villain of the story. And so Cloud sees a black feather and Barrett's like, huh, what's wrong? Doshita? So doshita means do suru and it's the past form. Do means how or why. Shita means done. So how have you done? What's wrong? Right? It's kind of that language. This is actually a very common expression. Do shita no? What's wrong? So you can use this with your friends, at work, in any kind of situation really. Do shita? Do shita no? What's wrong? Mondai nai. Mondai nai. So Cloud is trying to act cool and say, it's okay, I didn't just see a weird black feather floating down that reminded me of my traumatic past or anything. No, he's just trying uh, to play it off and he says, Mondai nai, which means there's no problem. Mondai, problem, nai means there isn't. So here, there's no problem, Mondai nai. Omae ga kimero. Omae ga kimero. So here, Barrett is saying, you decide. So, omae, you, rude. <laughs> and then, kimero is the imperative form of kimero, which means to decide something. So, you decide. Or in the English version, again, your call Merc. So again, they're playing this Merc card. They're trying to shove Merc into every bit of dialogue to really bring down the point that you're a Merc and Barrett kind of has this small level of disdain for the character by using it. Now in the Japanese, that doesn't exist. He just says, Omae ga kimero. Now Omae could kind of be in that way a small bit of disrespect. It's quite rude to say Omae. <laughs> you wouldn't say that to your parents or someone you love. So he is showing that level of disdain in the Japanese. Okay, and so if you set the actual timer to the shortest amount, Barrett says, huh, you're pretty cocky, huh? Or in the literal translation, you've got a lot of confidence, huh? So first we have jishin andaro na. Jishin means self-confidence. So if you break it down, ji means yourself and shin means belief. So self-belief, jishin. Jishin andaro na. Andaro means aru daro or aru desho. So an again is Barrett being that slang way and he's turning aru into a n. <laughs> so because of Barrett, 
He is the hardest part of this language. Uh, I remember when I was first starting uh, studying Japanese and I was trying to play the original Final Fantasy VII, Barrett made life so hard with the way that he just put slang on all of his words. And so here we have it again. So we're going to get a lot of practice uh, with this slang word. You're going to be able to conquer any manga or slang uh, words once you, thanks to Barrett, you'll really get a lot of practice. So, andaro, aru daro, daro, desho means right, and then na again, saying right a manly way. So, jishin andaro na, you've got a lot of self confidence. <laughs> so here Barrett saying you screwed me over or you set me up. So hameru uh, is quite a complex uh, verb. It means a lot of different things. But here if we just look at meaning number five, which means to entrap or to set someone up. That is the meaning here. So hame yagaru, yagaru again is that, that prefix connecting to a verb. So something yagaru means that you're showing disdain for their actions. So like, how dare you set me up or you're screwing me over. Hame yagatta na! Now in the English translation he says, you double crossing? And the next word is going to be something quite, uh, quite rude. Uh, so he's just said, you double crossing! Uh, and so it's really just showing that he thinks that Cloud has betrayed him. Hame yagatta na! Kuruzo! Short and sweet, kuruzo. Kuru means to come and zo is the manly emphasis. So kuruzo. It's coming. Or the English translation, heads up. Oi! How the hell do we fight this thing? So Barrett's asking, how do we kill this, this monster? And he says, Oi! Koitsuno mame chishiki wa? So this is actually a really interesting sentence in Japanese. Oi means hey. Koitsu is a really rude way of saying this guy or this thing. No mame chishiki. So mame means bean and chishiki means kind of knowledge. So Bean knowledge? It's a little bit strange, but it actually means a kind of snippet of information, a little trivia, kind of a rundown. So he's saying, what's the rundown on this guy? Like, tell me, quick, what's the quick information I need to know to beat it, right? Oi, koitsu no mame chishiki wa? Hey, what's the rundown on this guy? Okay, and so Cloud is sharing his knowledge about how to defeat the Sentinel, and he says, Senshiyo no kyouka souko da. Mekka wa ikazuchi ni yowai. So, first, Senshi yo. Senshi means a kind of battleground or the battle front. Sen is for battle, chi is for ground, and then yo is actually a really useful uh, word here that is used at the end of things to show that it's made for something or used for something. So senshi yo is made for battle or used for battle, not kyoka soko. So kyoka means strengthened or kind of reinforced, and then soko is armor. So, if we put it all together, senshi yo no kyoka soko da. Senshi yo, battle ready or battle made, reinforced armor. So, it has battle made reinforced armor, mecha wa ikazuchi ni yowai. Mecha means mech. So this is clearly a mech, it's a kind of mech scorpion. Mecha wa ikazuchi means lightning. So if you have any uh, game where you see a lightning spell, a lightning attack, a thunderer, thunderaga, Ikazuchi is the type that it is, the lightning type. Like Hono would be the fire type, Ikazuchi is the lightning type. Ni yowai. So here it's saying that it's weak to lightning, Ikazuchi. So this ni yowai means you're weak to. You could say ni tsuyoi, which means you're strong to. But here it's ni yowai. So the literal translation, it has reinforced battle armor. Mechs are weak to lightning. However, in the translation, uh, they say it's got reinforced armored plating, but the internals can be overloaded. So that's kind of trying to make it sound like there's a connection with the lightning. However, it's a little bit strange. It's not what they're actually saying in the Japanese. They're just saying that mechs are weak to lightning. Maho de semero. Maho de semero. So maho is magic. So if you play any video game where they talk about magic, whether it's Final Fantasy or Dragon Quest or anything at all, maho is magic. Maho de with magic, semero. So semero means to attack or assault. So he's saying, attack it with magic. 
the lightning magic. Now in the game version, he just says lightning magic. So you can attack it with lightning magic. You can overload it with lightning magic. And so here, Barrett is saying that he's got no other choice but to just do it. Yaru, to do. Shikane is shikanai, which means nothing but, or it's like the only thing you have, the only choice. You have no other choice but yaru, to do it. So yaru shikanai, you have no other choice but to do it, or in the English translation, uh, no other option, huh? Oh, no choice but to do it. Now this shikanai is actually a really useful expression to show that there is nothing but that one thing. Yaru shikanai, there is nothing but to do it. So this is actually a really useful expression, this shikanai. You can use it in lots of different ways. For example, you could say kansha shikanai. Kansha means kind of that you're grateful for something. And so you're saying that you have nothing but gratitude towards someone. Kansha shikanai. Really, really useful, this shikanai. So, yaru shikanai ne. No other choice but to do it. Nandaria! What the hell is that? Nandaria! So, nanda means what, or what the heck, what the hell, and aria is again Barrett being slang saying are wa, are wa, aria. So he's saying, what the hell is that? The hell is that thing? So the Japanese version and the English version is exactly the same. The hell is that? What the hell is that? Nanda aria. Bariaka. Kono bogyo system wa hajimete da. Bariaka. Kono boe system wa hajimete da. So Cloud is saying, ugh. It's a barrier, huh? This is the first time I've seen this kind of defense system. So, barrier is barrier. Ka is just saying a question, so a barrier. Kono boe system. So this boe means defense. System, you can guess, means system. So this defense system wa is for this, in regards to this battle system, hajimete da. It's the first time that I've seen it. So, barrier ka. Kono boe system wa hajimete da. A barrier? This is the first time seeing this kind of defense system. Sky ne na! Sky ne na! And so Barrett's saying that you're useless. You don't have any kind of help. You're not very useful. Sky ne! Sky nai! Forget everything Barrett says is slang. Sky ne means sky nai, which means you can't use something. So we previously covered the potential form, so sky eru means to be able to use. Sky nai means you can't use. And so he's saying that you're useless, you are not helpful. Now in the English version they say, I thought you were the expert. So again, I actually really like what this translator is doing. They are saying the same thing, but they're making the language more interesting. Now, this is risky because it means that you might not actually have the literally the same words and you might piss off uh, purists, but I think they're still doing a really good job making it creative and interesting. So it's kind of, nah, you're not very useful, huh? Or English translation, I thought you were the expert. <laughs> <laughs> so Cloud has kind of had enough of Barrett's sass, and he says, Dattara, anta ga nanto ka shiro. So, if that's the case, then you figure it out yourself. Anta, you, ga nanto ka shiro. So, nanto ka suru means to somehow manage a way to do something. Nanto ka suru. So here, to figure something out, to think of a way uh, to do something about it. So he's saying, you figure it out. Now, in the game translation, they've said, so what's your brilliant plan, genius? And so they've said, well, hey, okay, then what are you going to do? Now, this is actually a really smart use of language here. It's very good. So, naru means it's actually an expression to show that you're itching to use your skills or to get your skills and put them to use. However, Barrett is literally has an arm, ude, and naru means to kind of scream, it's like an animal cry. So it's like saying that his arm is screaming to do the work. So it's, it's really interesting because usually it means working, right? You can't wait to use your arms, right? You can't wait to use your skills. But Barrett actually has a gun arm that he can't wait to use and make scream, make cry, naru. So ude ga naru ze, my arm is going to kind of scream. Or the expression, I'm itching to use my skills. Now, in the English translation, they've said it's my time to shine. Again, same thing, different way of saying a similar thing. It's my time to shine, to put my skills to use. 
or this kind of tricky, uh, very intelligent kind of uh, smart way of connecting the two, this phrase and Barrett's actual arm. I'm itching to use my skills. So, chikatsuku means to get close to something, to kind of approach something. Chikatsuki sugite. Sugiru means to do something too much. So, chikatsuki sugiru, chikatsuki sugite means to get too close. Jibaku suru. So, jibaku means kind of self explosion. Ji again means self, and then baku is the explosion. Bakuha, bakuhatsu. So, jibaku means self explosion, kind of a suicide bombing type thing. Suru nayo. Don't do it. So, don't get too close and blow yourself up. Chikatsuki sugite, jibaku suru na yo. Or, uh, in the game translation, or go down in flames. So, he's referring to the fact that Barrett's saying, it's my time to shine, and Cloud's saying, well, maybe it's your turn to go down into flames. Laser ga kuru. Sasori no oni kiyosukero. Okay, so here's that classic scene from the original game where the scorpion's tail goes up. If you attack it, it'll counterattack and almost kill you. So here's the remix version, and Cloud says, Reza ga kuru, sasori no o ni kiyotsukero. So, Reza is the laser ga kuru. So the laser is coming. Sasori no o. So sasori is the scorpion, right? This is a scorpion. Sasori no o means tail. So the tail of the scorpion ni Kyotsukero. Be careful of Sasori no O, the scorpion's tail. So Kyotsukero is a really, really common expression. Uh, you use it on a daily basis in Japan saying, be careful, Kyotsukete, Kyotsukete ne, Kyotsukete kudasai. So Kyotsukero is the order form of be careful. So the laser's coming, watch out for the scorpion's tail. Or the game's translation, watch the tail, you don't want to be hit by that laser. And so here he's saying, so what do we do? So again, again, Barrett is being slang. Do sureya inda is actually do sureba inda. And so he's using the slang contraction of do sureba i. Do, how, sureba, if I do something, i, good. So how can I do something well? Do sureba i, what should I do? Do sureya inda. If we get hit head on, we won't get away unscathed. Hide yourself behind those steel girders. So, chokugeki shitara. Chokugeki means a direct hit. Okay, so if you get hit directly by the laser, chokugeki shitara. If, tada ja sumanai. So, tada means kind of for free. Ja, if sumanai, it won't end. So this is actually an expression, tada ja sumanai, tada dewa sumanai, and it means that whatever is about to happen won't go without punishment. It won't go scot-free. So if you get hit with a direct hit, you're not going to be pretty afterwards. Tada ja sumanai. So a very common expression, tada dewa sumanai, means that it won't go unpunished. So don't get hit directly because you'll be in trouble. Tekotsu ni mio kakuse. So tekotsu is the steel beams, as you can kind of see in the distance, there's a bunch of steel beams. Tekotsu ni mi o kakuse. So mi o kakusu means mi, yourself, or kakusu means to hide yourself. So go and hide yourself near those steel girders. Tekotsu ni mi o kakuse. Oi, nanka yosu ga hen da zo! Okay, so Barrett's kind of noticing something strange is going on with the scorpion, and he says, Hey, what's going on? Its, its appearance looks kind of strange. So, oi, hey, nanka yosu ga hen da zo. Nanka means kind of or expressing uncertainty. Yosu means the appearance of something. So you look at something, yosu means the overall appearance. Yosu ga hen means the appearance is strange. So hen is strange. So he's saying, hey, What's going on with that thing? It's kind of strange. It looks strange. So in English translation, oh hell, what's it doing now? <laughs> so giving that kind of Barrett personality, or just, hey, what's going on? Its appearance is strange. Oi, nanka, yosu ga hen da zo. Jikko shoufuku kinou ka. Isoge, kaifuku sareru mai ni kata o tsukeru. Jikko shoufuku kinou ka. Isoge, kaifuku sareru mai ni kata o tsukeru. 
So here he's saying that, huh? An auto repair function? Hurry, finish it up before it recovers. And so jiko means kind of self, jiko, the self. Jiko shufuku, shufuku is a repair or a mending. So self repair, jiko shufuku kino is the function. And so here it's the function that the Sentinel has, it's a self repair function. Now, kino is a really useful uh, word. For example, you might have keitai no kino, which might be a function of your phone, your mobile phone. So when you buy something, you're looking for good functions. So this is that kino. So he's saying, ah, jiko shufuku kino ka. An auto repair function, huh? Isoge, hurry. Kaifuku sareru maeni. Kaifuku means restore or recovery. So if you have a heal spell in a game, that is Kaifuku Maho. It's recovery magic. So Kaifuku Sareru means to be recovered. So Mae ni before it is recovered. Kaifuku Sareru Mae ni before it is recovered. Kata o tsukeru. So kata o tsukeru means to kind of deal with something, to settle a problem, to clean up, right? So let's get rid of this mess before it heals itself because it has an auto repair unit. Jikko shufuku kino ka? Isoge kaifuku sareru mae ni kata o tsukeru. Osha! Moete kita! Osha! Moete kita! And so Barrett is saying, whoa, I'm all fired up. So, osha is kind of just like a scream of moete kuru. Again, we're seeing this grammar from last episode. Moeru means to burn. Te kuru means to come to or to become. So he's saying that he's burning, but ah, he's not actually on fire. He's just, he's all fired up, right? So it's a common expression in English as well. To be on fire means doing really well. I'm all fired up. Moete kita. Kuso, chikazukene. Ah, kuso, chikazukene. And so here, kso means shit or crap. It's a swear word uh, in Japanese. It means literally shit. <laughs> so kso, uh, chikatsuke ne. So we just saw chikatsuku means to get close. Now he's the negative form, chikatsuke nai, chikatsuke ne. So I can't get close. So he's looking at the bomb and he's like, oh crap, I can't get close. Now in the English, they just say shit, the bomb. It's the same thing, right? Oh, I can't get close. However, in the English, they don't express that he actually wants to get close to the bomb. Okay, so in a robot voice, Bakuha made ato nijupun. No, I can't do the robot voice. But Bakuha means explosion. Made, as we already learnt, means until. So until explosion, ato nijupun. So ato means after, nijupun. Pun means 20 minutes. So this kanji after the 20 means minutes. Now it has lots of different ways of saying it. It could be fun or pun, depending on the number that's in front of it. So some numbers have a different pronunciation. In this way, it's nijup pun. So it's the P pun with 20 minutes. So, bakuhama de atto nijup pun. 20 minutes until detonation. Korea Korea <laughs> Kore wa i. So this is great, or this is good. Now in English he says, ha, you hear that? So he's talking about the bomb, everything's about to go up in flames, and so he's saying, this is great, right? Let's get out of here before we all die. <laughs> so kore wa i, this is great. Okay, this is a strange sentence near the end. Barrett says, koro sho wa ano sasori ni kurete yaru. So, Koro means a kind of award for distinguished service. So he says, as for the award for distinguished service, ano sasori ni kurete yaru. So that sasori, that scorpion, ano sasori ni kurete yaru. Now, kurete yaru means to give someone or to do something for someone. So he's saying that we will or I'm going to give the award for uh, distinguished service to this scorpion. Now, it's a quite a strange sentence, but if you think about it, it just means that he's saying, well, that scorpion put up a really good fight, right? And so he deserves an award. <laughs> and now in the English translation, they say, damn thing, showed you how it's done. So it's actually kind of a flip of the, 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 the language here and the, and the meaning. So Barrett in the Japanese is perhaps showing a little bit more respect, saying that, that was a hard fight. 
But in the English version, he's just saying that, you know, I showed you, <laughs> right? <laughs> Trash. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a little bit of a strange, but it's a strange sentence, really. Like, what, you don't usually say you're going to give someone an award when you beat them. <laughs> uh, but that's what he's saying here. So, Kōrōshō, the award for distinguished service one, ano sasori ni kurete aru. I'm going to give it to that scorpion. Isoge, dashutsu da. Okay, so it's time to escape. Isoge, dashutsu da. So, isoge, hurry up, dashutsu, escape, and da, it is. So he's saying that, you know, it is escape, it's time to escape, let's get out of here. So, isoge, dashutsu da, or the English translation, come on, we gotta move. Okay, so the grammar point that we're going to be looking at in this episode is sugiru, which means to do something too much. So you connect it to the end of another verb to show that you've done something too much. So the way to conjugate it, you have the verb in the mas form and then sugiru. So tabe mas would be tabe sugiru. Uh, you could say kai mas kai sugiru. So it has, has to be in the mus form. Then we have the e adjectives. You just remove the e and then you have sugiru. For example, oki, oki sugiru. So you just get that last e off. And then you have na adjectives. So you just use sugiru after the na adjective. For example, kire na, kire sugiru. So you don't need to remove anything for that one. Okay, so sugiru by itself actually means to do something beyond a limit, to do something excessively. So if we have a look at some of the examples here, so from this episode we have chikatsuki sugite jibaku suru na yo. So if you get or you get too close, chikatsuku, chikatsuki mas, so chikatsuki sugite, get too close and you blow yourself up, jibaku suru. Another example, I just made a sentence down below. Sono ken wa kurado ni wa oki sugiru. So, oki, you have two e's at the end. You just get rid of the last one, so oki sugiru. So, that sword is too big for cloud. Sono ken wa kurado ni wa oki sugiru. Okay, so we know how to use the mus forms, the e adjectives, and the na adjectives, but there are some exceptions. Good and negatives. So good in Japanese is e. However, when we use it being too much, we don't say e sugiru, we don't say that. Instead, we say yo sugiru. So yo sugiru. E turns into yoi, and then you remove the e. So yo sugiru. So for this example here, kono apartment wa ore ni wa yo sugiru. This apartment is too good for me. Now, the next example that we have is the negative, nai, right? Mondai nai to not be something. Now we don't say nai sugiru. That's not how we do it. Instead, we say nasa sugiru. So the example here, uh, yamcha wa chikara ga nasa sugiru. <laughs> so yamcha from Dragon Ball Z has too little power. He's too weak. Uh, so yamcha wa chikara ga nasa sugiru. It, it doesn't have enough, right? It's not enough. So too much not having something. Nasa sugiru. So this is a really useful grammar point to say that you do something too much. It's very common if you say, oh, tabesugita, I ate too much, or maybe, oh, a little bit drunk, oh, nomi sugita, you drank too much. It's a very, very common uh, grammar expression. So please try to use this. So what I really recommend you do is in the comments section below, I would like you to try to actually use this in a sentence. Try to use sugiru in your own sentence with a Japanese and if, and if you want, an English as well. And then we can actually help you with your corrections and see if you're using the grammar correctly and so you can actually get some direct feedback. So try to use this grammar in the comments section below. Great, so on to the review. Okay, so we got a big review this time, 75 words, let's go. So, saate. So that means well or now, it's a way of starting a sentence. Okay, saate. Okurikomu. So that means to send in. Okurikomu. Inu. So a dog. Inu. Te. So the quoting particle to, but the casual form. Te. Koto. So the thing. But you can also normalize certain verbs and sentences with te koto. Shoume. So this is proof or verification. Shoume. Morao. So something to receive. Morao. Or you can have te morao, which means you put it with the verb. Shite morao. You have someone, you receive someone doing something. Morao. 
Seto. So the Japanese version of set. Seto. Tsure. So a companion or an accomplice or something. Tsure. Dake. So just that. Sore dake. Just that. Dake. Shinyo. So shinyo is trust. Belief in someone. Confidence. Shinyo. Dekiru. So we covered previously the potential form of suru is dekiru. Dekiru. Nandomo. So over and over again. Many times. Nandomo. Yato. So here is to hire or employ someone. Yato. Dattara. If that's the case. Dattara. Damaru. So to shut up, be silent. Damaru. Yaru. So to do something. Yaru. Doushita? What's wrong? Doushita no? Doushita? Mondai. So a problem? Mondai? Nai. There is no problem. There isn't something. Nai. Kimeru. So to decide something. Omae ga kimero. You decide. Jishin. So not the oh, earthquake, but Jishin is self confidence. So Ji for yourself and Shin belief, self belief, self confidence. Jishin. Aru. So here's the opposite of Nai. Aru to exist. Nai to not exist. Aru to exist. Hameru. So Hameru is to entrap someone or to screw someone over. Hameru. Koitsu. So this guy. Koitsu, very rude way of saying this guy or this thing. Koitsu. Mame chishiki. So here is a little bean of knowledge, a kind of rundown. Mame chishiki. Senchi. So sen battle, chi, land, the battlefront. Senchi. Yo. So something use. Senchi yo, battle use. Made for battle. Yo. Kyoka. So reinforced or strengthened. Kyoka. Soko, so here's the armor. Soko. Mecha, so mecha is the mechs. Mecha. Ikazuchi, so the lightning, lightning spells, thunderer. Ikazuchi. Yowai, weak. Yowai. Maho, so magic, Harry Potter. Maho. Semeru, so to attack or to assault something. Semeru. Baria. So the barrier around scorpion, baria. Boe. So here is defense. Boe. Shistemu. So the system. Shistemu. Tsukaeru. Tsukaene. To be able to use something. Tsukaeru. Nantoka suru. Nantoka shiro. Means to do something, to figure something out. To some way or another do something. Nantoka suru. Ude ga naru. So remember, your time to shine, to make use of your skills, ude ga naru. So picture Barrett wanting to make use of his gun arm, ude ga naru. Chikatsuku, so to get close, chikatsuku. Sugiru, too much, sugiru. Jibaku, <laughs> to blow yourself up, jibaku. Reza, so the laser, reza. Sasori, so the scorpion, sasori. Oh, so the scorpion's tail. Sasori no o. Kyotsukeru. Be careful. Kyotsukete kudasai. Please be careful. Dousure inda. Dousure ba inda. What should we do? Chokugeki. A direct hit. Chokugeki. Tada de wa sumanai. So you won't get off scot free. You won't get away with it. Tada de wa sumanai. Tekkotsu, so the steel girder or beam, tekkotsu. Mi o kakusu, so to hide oneself, to conceal oneself, mi o kakusu. Nanka, so nanka, really common way of expressing uncertainty or saying kinda. So if you say kinda a lot in English, you use nanka a lot. Nanka. Yosu, so the appearance or the state. Yosu ga hen, strange, hen. Yosu ga hen. Jiko. So the self, jiko, shufuku, repair, self repair, jiko, shufuku. Kino, so a function, function on your phone, keitai no kino, or jiko shufuku kino, a self repair function, kino. Kaifuku, so to restore or recovery, like kaifuku maho, restoration magic, kaifuku. Mae ni, so before something, something mae ni means before that. 
片付ける。So to settle a problem or to kind of clean up something to get rid of a mess, 片付ける。燃える。So to burn. Or Barrett, he's on fire, he's all fired up. 燃えてきた。燃える。<laughs> Shit, very bad swear word. Try not to use this too much. Kuso. Ato, so after. Ato ni jupun. After 20 minutes. Ato. Fun, so minute. Fun pun. Minute. Fun. Kore a i. This is good. Kore wa i. Kore a i. Kodo sho. So an award for distinguished service. Kodo sho. Sho is award. Kodo is service or effort, work, labor. Krete yaru. So to give someone or to do something for someone. Krete yaru. And dashutsu. Escape. Great. So that was a huge review 75 words. Let's get on with the quiz. の強化走行だメカはイカズチに弱い近づきすぎて自爆するなよ。直撃したらただじゃ済まない鉄骨に身を隠せ回復される前に型をつける。やるしかねえが。急げ脱出だ。Everyone, you have now finished episode 9 of Game Gengo. So you're almost 300 words so far, and we're almost getting to the end of chapter 1. So quite exciting. So, as always, 
please feel free to leave your comments down in the comment section below. I would love to see how well you did with the quiz and also any feedback. If there's anything you like, anything you dislike about the videos, please let me know and I will always do my best to improve the videos and help you learn Japanese in the most enjoyable way you can. So thank you very much for watching everyone. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. You guys are the absolute best. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, you really, really make me want to keep on making videos and do my absolute best and finish this whole game and kind of get this complete uh, game finished so you could pretty much learn Japanese from beginner to fluency just by watching this series. So thank you so much for supporting uh, this concept, this idea, this video series and this channel. Great. Okay, so thank you very much everyone. I shall see you again next time. See ya.